you are working on mobile robotics in ROS2, then you might have experienced SLAM application robot moving autonomously in the simulation. What if you want to make your own real one? There are certain options, but let's start the journey of building one. What are the requirements, the sensor and some knowledge for autonomous navigation? Let's take a look. First step is to design and 3D print your robot body and fixing your electronics on specific locations. And your robot might look like this, which helps a lot in testing and debugging your robot's movement as it moves, the components doesn't fall. Now to start, you'll need certain sensors for your robot and these sensors will include lidar for mapping and obstacle detection imu for orientation and wheel encoders for tracking the robot's movement depending on your robot's intended function you might also need other sensors like cameras and ultrasonic but for 2d slam we will be moving forward with lidar imu and magnetic wheel encoders once you have all your sensors integrated into your robot you will need to understand the data stream. Let's understand from this example of simulation, this bandwidth and the speed of data streams for multiple sensors. In this example, LiDAR and the camera sensor. This could involve understanding of ROS topics, messages, services, as we are using ROS for your robot software architecture. You will also need to understand the speed of data bandwidth and how to process and use the sensor data for tasks like mapping, localization and navigation. Localization and orientation are common challenges in autonomous navigation. Localization involves determining robot's position within its environment, while orientation involves determining its direction or angle. As we can see, the robot is moving toward a certain goal and as it is moving, its estimates, these red arrows, are getting more appropriate with every time step. That is why Kalman filters and EMCL node is basically used behind it. So solving localization and orientation problems could involve techniques like SLAM, or sensor fusion with the use of Kalman filters as we can see. Even if your sensors are not that top notch with high data streams and high quality data, but still you can build a simple prototype then improve it iteratively. This involves considering factors like robot balance, weight, sensors, embedded hardware and the durability of the printing material for the body structure. The main goal is to build a robot for autonomous application and that involves refining over time. Once the robot is built, data stream are set, we need to start visualizing the data of our robot. Here we can see Arviz is visualizing LiDAR scan values produced by the robot. At this specific time, if I put something in front of my LiDAR at a certain height, it is going to show me on Arviz. So the communication is working. Currently it is wired, we'll move to wireless, but for now, LiDAR is sending data to ROS ecosystem on my system which completes our first phase of bringing the robot sensors to ROS, we'll move towards the encoders next. Building your own custom robots is challenging but a rewarding journey. Specifically, companies are looking forward for people who have worked on actual robots because obviously it involves a lot of troubleshooting and a lot of problem solving procedures and testing which companies love to hear about from your projects. So making your own robot integrating with the simulation gives you a bigger understanding of the principles followed in building the robot. And remember, every step you take brings you closer to your goal, which is amazing robots.